Hello, sorry to bother you. This town that I'm in, is it pronounced Southam or Southam? Southam. 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 Okay, I've always thought it's Southam, but Southam. Hello. So you may have guessed I'm a Southam United against Newton Town in a Hellenic Division 1 match. Um, I had a bit of a nightmare actually getting to the ground because I, um, I drove into over here and I thought, crikey, how'd you get in? But some kind uh, local pointed me in the right direction. So I went a few minutes out my way, but yep, finally here. So this is another new ground for me. Southam is in Warwickshire. And I believe Newham is New, New Forest or something. I can't quite remember. Again, I'm a bit scratchy with my uh, research on this match. So here we go. Into the ground. Well, hopefully that's my viewing spot for the match. If I'm allowed up there. First things first though for me, as always, after a bit of a journey, four or five minutes, I need to find the toilet. Hopefully there's one in here. So a chap called uh, Dan pointed me in the way for the toilets, which wasn't actually at the top of the main building. But let me tell you, that area up there is absolutely stunning. Proper beautiful. Um, I think this is a step six ground, but it's got to be one of the best ones around, that's for sure. Oh, it's a cracker. <laughs> it's quite a windy day here today, actually, so I hope it doesn't ruin the football, but I'm just having a little walk around the ground to show it off a little bit. So at the start of play, Southam are in 13th, Newham in 15th. Uh, be quite a close game, but I'm going to go with 2 0 for the home side. No goal, foul on the keeper. Oh, it's been given, has it? What do I know about football? Not quite sure what happened there, but it's a goal. 
They needed that right on half time. And that was the that was the last section of the half. I'm going for a burger and look for some half time reactions from somebody. He's offered him five pounds for a third clean sheet as well, so he's had that. This was groundhopper. Just got my burger, and it happened to be a freebie uh, courtesy of the chairman Mike Davies. So, um, really appreciate the hospitality, Mike. Thank you very much, mate. <laughs> So I've just polished off my burger and I found a willing volunteer to talk about his team's first half performance. This is Wayne. So Wayne, what do you think of the first half so far? It's been a good first half. I missed uh, three of the goals though because I was at the bar as usual. But um, you did. <laughs> but yeah, good, good, good game. Second half we got the win, so hopefully we can get back into it. Three two with the wind. Hopefully we'll have a, a good chance now. So, what, what do you think? Uh, what are you looking for as an improvement for your team for this half? I think staying closer to the, you know, marking the man, using the runners, and uh, yeah, I think just a bit more intensity. A bit more passion, I think. Get back in it. Okay, thanks a lot for your time, Wayne. Cheers. Cheers, nice buddy. You. Thank you. Might have, might have forgotten to say at the start of the vlog that actually Southam are in yellow. Oh, air shot. Something going on off the ball here. Yeah? Referee hasn't seen it though. The game's getting quite niggly now. I wouldn't be surprised at all if there's going to be a sending off in this. Free kick 30 yards out of everyone who's parked behind the goal has got their fingers crossed. Good effort. Sending off I expected in the match. Off the ball again, that fella. <laughs> Give it to the crowd, fair play to him. Shot from the halfway line. Very unlucky. Who'd be a lino? Wayne Stock Benson has just turned up and he's just as keen to get to the bar by the looks of things. <laughs> Down here is a week on Wednesday on the Chipston Excelsior Club. 
So off that thrilling free free draw, I've been kindly joined by Andy Tibbetts, uh, club president of Southam United. Andy, uh, reflections on that match? Um, a bit disappointing, really. Um, although uh, with the team we had out, we, we were very short of players today. Um, we've lost one or two players and we've got some injuries at the moment. Um, but uh, ground conditions weren't that good. Um, but uh, a draw is, we've got to take it. You know, um, we, we, we needed the win and so did they. But uh, I think, we, you know, uh, we deserve the draw in the end. I think, uh, but, um, well, you must be quite pleased. Um, twice in the match, you came back from that's two, right. two yes, goal deficits. Yeah, we came back from two goals, yeah. And um, but they fought hard. They always do. They, they work out very hard, and they're a good, good bunch of lads, you know. And uh, was and, there, um, in your opinion, when uh, the away team went down to ten men, was the game there for the taking? Um, I think it was, yeah. But we just didn't. Um, I didn't I don't think we took advantage as we should have done when they went down to ten men. And um, but there you are, that's football I'm afraid. Yeah, it's one th a, one thing's for sure, as yeah. a neutral, it was a thrilling watch. I, I would yeah. say a draw was just about the right result. Um the the conditions were very difficult today, very very blustery wind and the pitch was very boggy. So Yes, that's right. So yeah, the teams yeah. that actually uh, served that up was a credit to them. But, yeah, yeah. Um, I appreciate your time anyway, Andy. Yeah. Right thank That's you very much, right. mate. Thank you very much Cheers, for coming. Buddy. Yeah, thank you. Well, there must be something in the air in Warwickshire because the last time I came to this county, I really enjoyed myself. And today I was blown away by the match, the, uh, the friendliness of the club and the hospitality. Just one of my favorite days at non-league I've ever had, actually. Just brilliant. Um, what can I say? If you're local, you must get yourselves down here. I can't understand why they're not attracting more crowds with the facilities and especially with what I've just seen on the pitch because like a closer look up you might be able to see how crap the pitch is cut up today and it's a very swirling wind in fact I hope you can hear me but yeah the entertainment was 10 out of 10. Anyway I'm going to wrap up the video now and uh, go home but obviously I've got to say the usual like subscribe share but really appreciate the comments so if you could whack one of them in for us and uh, I always like reading them and yeah not sure where I'm going to be next week but uh, I hope you uh, watch so until then ta -da.